morning or afternoon really. We're getting a late start today in Mexico City, but we're gonna get on the subway now and go exploring in the neighborhood of Colombo. And I've got my green juice, which I've been having every morning at the place across from my apartment. So let's go on the subway. It's only five pesos. Got out of there. Okay. That was a close call. Okay, we're in Polanco. <laughs> That's a little bit of a situation at the end there where I almost didn't get off the train. Mark got off, and uh, people don't wait for you to get off before they try to get on because they don't leave the doors open for very long. So, literally, about 10 people were pushing me back onto the subway car, <laughs> and I was just trying to push through, and I was getting pushed further and further back into the car, and I didn't even realize that the doors were also closing on the people trying to close me in. So, long story short, I had to kind of, uh, instead of just saying, excuse me, I also had to push back. <laughs> but sometimes you have to push a little bit uh, to get where you need to go. So, here we are in Polanco now, so let's keep exploring. <laughs> We found this really cute deli called Amati, and we're going to People Watch and have some lunch. We just finished lunch, and we're going to uh, walk around the streets in Polanco now. But we're just laughing because I realized that I know how to say sorry or excuse me four different ways in Spanish, and I don't even speak Spanish. <laughs> like a quarter of my vocabulary is how to say sorry. <laughs> Lo siento. Permiso, perdóname, and mi esculpa. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> so, I could say four, sorry four ways. Making Canada proud down here. Polanco is a very posh part of town. There's all sorts of ritzy shops. It's supposed to be the Rodeo Drive of Mexico City. So it's been fun to wander around, but the real reason we're here is to see Carlos Slim's personal art collection. He is the wealthiest man in Mexico, one of the wealthiest people in the world, and he has a private art collection of 66,000 pieces. And so that's what we're here to see at Museo Sumaya. Sumaya, here. about this gallery museum so far is that the way they've hung most of the pictures you can look at the back so here's a Modigliani which I love and then you can go around the back which I don't know if this is weird but I think is almost as interesting as the paintings because you can see the life it's had and different auction houses and different owners which maybe nobody finds as cool as me but I love seeing what's written there I don't want to be weird, but this is the bathroom, which is so nice for the museum. That's a bathroom. That museum was awesome. I think the building itself is maybe the coolest part, but in terms of the art, I think Rodin's Gates of Hell were my favorite. They're so imposing, just the massive scale of them when you're looking up at them. They had a lot of Diego Rivera pieces and I'm 
glad we went. It's definitely worth going and it's free to get in. So I would recommend that if you're in Mexico City. And we're still in Polanco. I'm gonna put a sweater on. I have to actually buy a sweater here in Mexico City because it's a lot colder than I thought it would be. So if you're coming at this time of year, then you should definitely pack some layers because right now I think it's about 15 degrees or something. So anyway, bought this, so I'm good to go. And let's go keep exploring. Guys, we found our favorite section. <laughs> Where are we going to go next? Oh my god. So many choices. So that bookstore is really cool. It's in Polanco. It's called El Pendulo. Um, and it's part restaurant, part cafe, part bookstore. But I love rifling through books and reading a few pages and all of the books are shrink wrapped so you can't do that. So we didn't stay for too long. Now we're gonna take the subway back to our neighborhood, Roma Norte, and get something to eat. One thing about Mexico is that you see the letter E everywhere, which got me really excited until I realized it means parking. <laughs> you see E with a big X through it almost everywhere, so balance. <laughs> that is the perfect way to end the day in Polanco. Back in Roma Norte with tacos. It's perfect. See you in the next video.